50 countries, hundreds of demonstrations all around the world. There are people like us. Are there any farmers in the crowd today? Shout out if you're here. You know the old saying, thank a farmer for your next meal. There is nothing that unites city people and regional communities and country people like food security or even food sovereignty. The right to safe, clean, affordable food to the simple concept of a tomato that doesn't have bits of fish DNA injected into it. Doesn't sound like too much to ask. Thank you to the farming community and this rally really apart from anything else is to let you know that you're not alone and that a lot of city people are supporting you in this fight. Thank you very much for coming up and coming out today. And people like Steve Marsh get put on the front line, not because of choice, but because he decided not to turn away. He wasn't, he didn't choose the situation, but unlike what some other people might have done, he's actually chosen to stand up, put himself on the line instead of folding. Uh, which is what that kind of corporate threat is designed to do, is to cower and intimidate you into just staying out of the fight. So this gentleman and his family, um, who I've had the honour of meeting once a little while ago, has taken this on really on behalf of all of us, so that we do know that we can have some confidence and trust in what we eat, and there is nothing more fundamental than that, basic food security. This is about more than just Monsanto. It's about more than just one large, unaccountable and unethical, amoral corporate giant that has a hundred years of momentum and capital behind it. It's about more than them. It's about the relationship between entities like Monsanto and democratically elected governments and people in buildings like this who are meant to represent us, not corporate interests, but the interests of the people. So today really is the beginning of something. It's not the end of something, it is the beginning of something. That today we are taking our food sovereignty back. We the people reasserting our sovereignty over our food and our sovereignty over parliamentary assemblies. Where quite frankly if you don't agree with what they do and if you don't agree with what they say, replace them. Get in there. That is the agency that we have in a democratic country. The most important thing that will happen today are not the speakers from up here, they are the conversations that you'll have on your way down the hill and when you get across into Northbridge. Can I ask you to turn to somebody who you've never met before, make eye contact and introduce yourself because they are your ally in this fight. No, I'm serious, do it now. Someone you never met. This is why we get together. Someone introduce themselves to the person in the chicken suit, please. The Greens are in this one with you. We've been there from the beginning and we will continue to be there and to stand up for the rights of farmers, the rights of parents to feed their kids healthy food. Now I've started a thousand conversations and no one can hear me. Please mob up in this direction. We're going to be heading down St George's Terrace. Make a great big ruckus. Meet people. Form friendships. Exchange phone numbers. And let's link arms and continue this fight until we have control of our own food. Thank you very much for coming out today.